Okay, so let's continue to be one. Sorry po kung kinat ko ha, may earthquake drill po kasi kami dito sa PMC. Okay, so let's continue. Okay. Wait lang po. Okay, so ulit, ulitin natin ha. Um, in technical writing, guys, its characteristics should be, it, it should be an average of 6, 15 or sentence length of 15 words. Okay, pangalawa, average paragraph length should be 2 to 5 sentences or 150 words. Formatting is single space 99% of the time. Tone voice is professional. Okay, so tone, tone and voice should be professional. Kung ko lang na ang humor or uh, motivation like that or emotions, feelings, is not conveyed in technical writing. Hindi siya parehas ng essay na kapag ginawa natin, whatever comes into our mind, whatever is in our heart, yung susulat natin, hindi po. When we say technical writing, it is done due process that is helpful and accurate for everyone. Okay? Again po. So next po, um, visuals and graphics are common. Then lastly, Use colors and other forms of that e of emphasis when appropriate. So color, use color po no in technical writing that is not distracting, no? And uh, when we emphasize in technical writing, we should only use bold. Yung bold po na ginagamit natin, di ba, sa word. Bakit? Hindi po tayo pwede gumamit ng kung ano-anong kulay na hindi appropriate sa technical writing na ginagawa natin. So we should be mindful of that. Okay, so now, what is the difference of technical writing into academic writing? So the purpose, guys, the differences in purpose is that technical writing create records, inform, and persuade. Um, and then when in when we when we look at the purpose of academic writing, it informs, persuade, or entertain or ask to entertain or ultimately to earn a grade. Okay, the per the second one is the audience. In technical road audience, in technical writing, the audience are high tech, low tech, lay audience, and multiple audience. And in academic writing, the instructor, the teacher, or and the other students. Okay, so so technical writing, guys, you high tech. When we say high tech, these are professionals. High tech, muna tayo ha. These are professionals like company owners. Um, field experts, no, like engineer, CEO of the company, um, architect, no, or etc. So yun po yung high tech na nita, nita When we say low tech, naman po, usually a co-worker, um, subordinates. So they are familiar with the subject matter, but you need to um, define some acronyms. Dapat do sa technical writing nagi nagawa natin kung sino yung audience natin. When we say low tech, lay audience. Sila naman po yung customers, clients, okay? So, writings um, to this one, to lay audience po, is difficult and demanding. And then lastly, multiple audience. When we say multiple audience, outside the profession, so there's, no, there's a need, there's a really need to explain every technicality. So, yun po yung uri ng audience natin. Ulitin natin pag sinabi natin high-tech professionals like uh, company owners, CEO, field experts po like engineers, architects, and etc. When we say low-tech, these are usually your co-workers no? or the subordinates. So they are familiar with the technical writing that you are writing for them but you have to explain some acronyms. Okay, and then when we say lay audience, they are the customer clients. So writing for in lay audience is difficult and demanding. And then the multiple audience, when we say the multiple audience that is outside the profession. So there's a need to explain every technicalities. And in message, in technical writing, it provides knowledge or instructions. And academic writings look what I no. Okay? So, yun po yung difference ng message ng technical writing into academic writing. So, ngayon, punta naman po tayo sa five traits of technical writing. So, when we say five traits, when we are going to make 
a technical writing, what should be the traits or the, when we say traits, katangian, ano po ba dapat ang, ang meron ng isang technical writing. So, number one, clarity. Number two, accuracy, audience recognition, accessibility, and lastly, we have conciseness. Okay. So, when we say, guys, clarity, isa-isahin natin. When we say clarity, Wait lang po ah. So when we say clarity guys, um, a technical writing, a technical writing documents or the writing no, that we are making needs to have a single reading that the reader can understand. So lagi natin tatandaan no, na um, hindi, naman, hindi lang sa technical writing, hindi sa academic writing or any type of writing that we are making, even letters, unclear writing is bad. So, unclear technical writing can also be dangerous or may cause harm to the reader. Tama po ako? So, for example po, no, in technical writing, think of it um, from, the, from this perspective. For example, your company has written an installation manual for a product. No? Kunwari lang. Then the, manual, the manual, unfortunately, is not clear. Tapos po, when the reader no, fails to understand the content, three negative, three negative um, things can occur or can happen to that person or to the reader. Number one, ito po, bad. Okay? Pwede pa to. Okay? Pwede pang mas, magawa ng paraan. Okay? Or worse or even worse. So sa bad, um, the equipment is damaged. No? This requires the owner to ship the equipment back. So the company will replace the equipment. It it cost no it cost it will cost our view and at the same time a public relation has been frayed. Or worst thing that could happen, the owner is hurt, leading to pain, anxiety, doctors bill, and bad public relations. And even worse, the company is sued. When we say sued, accused, and persecuted, no, and the company loses money, the writer of the manual loses a job, and public relations are severe. So, yun po yung magiging, uh, magiging uh, mangyayari no? kapag po tayo ay nag-cause ng unclear or nagbigay tayo ng unclear technical writing sa ating mga customers or clients. Okay? So, it should be clear or it should have clarity, a trait of clarity. Number two is accuracy. Okay? So, when we see accuracy, guys, when we see accuracy, it refers to the truthfulness and the variety of event statements. So, it basically refers to getting the facts straight. Okay? So, when we say accuracy, dapat po malinaw. Dapat po accurate. Huwag mong pakabain ng pakabain. Talagang, talagang ano, tal uh, kumbaga, bibigyan mo pa ng sobrang data sa customers to the point na hindi na nila din maintindihan at papasok na naman si Clark, si, hindi, si unclear technical writing. So, how could we make our technical writing accurate? Number one, ang avoid ambiguity. Huwag tayong gagamit ng mga words na sa tingin mo, hindi maintindihan no? reader or ng client. Number two, um, it should have um, introduction and conclusion. And number three, use transitional words or emphasis. Okay? For example, um, absolutely, indeed, obviously, yeah, additional or contrast or in order. So we should use that. So why do we use that or why could we use that? And for example, kung accuracy, no, yung steps, Kapag po tayo magbibigay ng direction, the first step is to do this, the second step is to do that. That is shows that will show accuracy because that will um that will um give, giving the customers or our clients the details on how to make our technical writing or how to use it. Kasi po kapag hindi tayo nagbigay ng accuracy, no, accurate statements sa ating mga customers, pwede pong ibalik yan sa atin, no? At kung ang daming, pali, ang daming parang words na ginagamit natin na eh, hindi naman related to sa technical writing, at talaga naman ano, hindi sila hindi sila ma, hindi sila magkakaroon ng ng parang ng parang kagustuhan na maingganyo pa ulit na pumunta doon sa company natin or i kunin yung service natin. So, kung nagpo-accuracy. And guys, remind yourself that we have a busy world 
world, no? Kung tayo po ay magbibigay ng instruction, for example, paano mag-install ng aircon, tapos ang haba-haba ng statement mo, napakahirap po noon para sa mga tao, lalo na yung hindi talaga accessible sa pagbabasa, hindi marunong magbabasa, pagbabasa, ayun po. So, dapat po, clear po sa atin yung mga bagay na yun. Okay? And then, kung mababasa natin na makikita natin yung ibang manual, may drawing na, no? para po makita nila or makita nung mag-install kung paano gawin. Okay? So, ganun po yung accuracy. Audience recognition. So, when we say audience recognition, guys, so this aspect po is based around the audience. How well, how well they understand the uh, writing. So, if your audience, guys, can't understand your writing, then there will be no way to adapt to your own writing. So, meaning, that if you have writing that the audience cannot understand, then your writing looks bad and nobody will read it. Okay po? Okay. So, kanina nabanggit na natin yung high tech, low tech, and lay readers or lay audience. So, ulitin lang natin. When we say high tech peers or high tech audience, this, um, these people know as much about the subject matters as you. So, they have the same job title, same education, same year of experience, and the same level of expertise. So, yun si high tech. So, low tech naman, who works in your company, knows something about the subject matter. So, when you say low tech, guys, they may not have the same job title, um, education, years of experience, or level of expertise. And lastly, lay readers or the lay audience, these are the customers. So they are completely, completely, completely out of the loop or out of the expert that you know. So for example po, tayo po ay gagawa ng manual. Basically, ang ating pong audience ay si lay, lay audience na tinatawag or si lay readers. Kasi ikaw ang gumawa, syempre expert mo yan, alam mo kung paano install, siya hindi. So we have to adapt clarity and accuracy to that. Okay, and then we have the accessibility. When we say accessibility means the ease of which the reader can locate the information. They say, make sure na accessible siya. Pag sinabi natin ano accessible, madali lang para sa isang reader para mahanap po ni information na inahanap niya. So yun po yung accessibility. And of course, conciseness. When we say conciseness, technical writing is supposed to be clear. And it's so having a massive, big, um, having no a massive documents may take time for the readers to read, and will get their heart for the reader reader to read after a while. So it is good no to stay clear and try to keep the readers ready. In short, dapat maikli, dapat ano, dapat direct to the point. Okay. So how could we make our technical writing concise? Number one, delete meaning. Delete meaningless words na hindi naman talaga kailangan. Number two, delete double words. Number three, delete redundant categories. So, yun po yung um, conciseness. So, yun po. Okay? So, in style naman po, in general, guys, it is... Okay, alitin muna natin. So, what are the five traits of technical writing? Number one, clarity. It should be containing clarity or clear information, accurate information. You should recognize your audience. Okay, bago may isulat ng technical writing, it should be accessible and concise. So we have the styles in technical writing. Basahin na lang natin to, no? So in general, this is a particular way in which something is done. So that is the definition of style. In linguistic, guys, when we say style, it is the choice of word used by a particular person or group when they speak. And in social linguistics, it is a set of parameters with particular social meaning. So these are the styles in technical writing. Number one, the way in which technical terms and jargons are presented. Number two, the technical and scientific context used for technical writings. Number three, it should be efficient and practical way of transferring information. Okay? And next, the way in which technical and scientific information are organized. So what are the writing styles for in technical writing? Basahin na lang natin. Number one, it refers how words are put together stylistically. And of course, how information message are delivered. Okay, next, the voice or the words or the ambience created in your writing and it should be according to the readers. So how to achieve an effective style? Number one, it should be simple and self-expressive. 
Number two, it should be accurate and brevity and clarity. Okay? Number three, it should have a conciseness and coherence. Number four, it should have an organization of information. Okay? Choose the right tone. Okay po. So, ito po, to summarize or to simplify the style in technical writing, a good technical writer could be one and make a difficult task easy and can quickly explain a piece of information. So, the following points help in achieving appropriate writing styles in technical writing documents. Number one, audience analysis and personal style. Make it informative. The writing should be straightforward. Educate the reader. That is the purpose no? of technical writing. We should educate the reader. It could be, it should be concise. Napakabisi ng mundo natin. If you could, if you will give our audience a very wordy information, hindi nila babasahin yan, hindi ka na nila babalikan. Tama po? It, is, it should be ensure or it should, it should ensure clarity in writing. And lastly, it conduct extensive research. So, para po mas maintindihan natin, when we say technical writing, no, it is done due process or research which is not promoting emotions, feelings, and suggestions. Yun po yung technical writing. So, kapag po tayo nakakita ng mga pen, mga labels, wait lang, balikan natin. Ayan. Yung mga labels like, ayan, mga labels sa ating mga products, ayan, mga manuals, resibo, no? So, these are example of technical writings. Okay, it is clear, it is concise, um, ano pa ba? it is accessible for their readers, lahat ng information na kailangan nila nandun ha, and it is um, depending on the audience of the reader. So that's all guys, so that is for the technical writing. So if you have any question, pakichat na lang po ako sa ating CC. Okay, so I will give you instructions on Friday on what we're going to do next for technical writing. So thank you to B1 and God bless po.